Yeah, man. I knew it'd be a surprise, man. I'm one of them guys. I don't want to put no strain on my mother, my brother, no, none of my family. I don't want to stay with you, you know, when I'm I'm a man. I should, you know, I should be capable of taking care of myself. One day I found myself down here. And when I got down here, I'm sitting up in here and one night I just started crying like, God, why am I down here? You know, I'm, I can't work, I can't get, I don't have the income. I have a pacemaker. I got sleep apnea. I get shot in my knees with cortisone to keep me walking. You know, I have surgery on my foot. And my body is like, my heart is like a 75, 80 year old man. I gotta get up off the floor, pull myself up with a chair. I gotta use a chair to get up. Ooh, man. All I can say, you know, is, is this what I wanna go through? Is this, what, is, this, is this part of life? Do people even care? Do people even understand? Is anybody coming here? Anybody coming here and looking, looking at us? What we're going through, you know? Do, is people gonna look down on me because I'm, I'm homeless? I talked to my mother the next day. She said, "Give back to what they're giving you. They're giving you a roof over your head. They're giving you a place to wash your behind, get your behind, and that's, do something." So, that next day I started doing everything. This is all the food we got. I try to give them what don't nobody want to give them a piece of home. Hi, you're welcome. I'm not just down here being homeless. I'm down here providing substance for each and every individual down here. I worked at State Fair for 17 years, 16, 17 years. I never missed a year until I got sick. It gave me a little help because I know I got a place to use the machines that's going to help me breathe better at night. I'm just like you guys. I just don't have a home. That's the only thing missing. I don't have a key to turn. But I just have to come back here at night and sleep until I'm able to get somewhere that's affordable for me to live in. I may not have no car, no house, but I got life. How you doing, boss? <laughs> I wake up every morning. So the longer I'm waking up, I can make, make plans to better myself, which I do every day. Yes, ma'am.